Bob when you get spun on Cause I don't feel it. You really think you got it? In the cutthroat world of design, there is no place for half measures. You're either on the cutting edge or on the cutting room floor. Now, 16 aspirant designers have taken up the challenge of fast-tracking their careers straight to the top. They have come to the city of gold to fight for their ultimate dream, a high-powered job with leading lifestyle and fashion retailer Woolworths. Then they discover that they will be living together 24 hours a day side by side with their competition, making friends and enemies. Every week they will face another grueling design task and every week one person will leave because ultimately only one will make the cut. Hi, I'm Claire Moisa and this is The Cut, a reality show all about design. What do you think when I say design? Fashion? Well, think again. It affects every part of our lives, from the couch you're sitting on, the cup you're drinking from, and even the television screen you're watching right now. For the longest time, South Africa design has been heavily influenced from the East and the West. But over the past 10 years, we've truly come into our own. I invite you now to come on a journey with me behind the scenes to see how truly extraordinary our talent really is. I'm about to meet 16 young designers who could change the face of South African design. The tension mounts as I'm about to force total strangers to choose their teams without knowing each other. First things first, we need to divide you guys into two groups. Earlier this morning, I randomly selected two names. So, Lorato and Vus, please come up and join me. I am a very big idealist. I, I believe in, in, in a lot of things um, that are um, not of the material world, but I'm striving to get there. Um, but I, I, I believe a lot in respect and dignity, and that's what drives me. Culture. Culturalism is one of my sort of most unique defining features when it comes to the way I think in that. I think culture is such an important thing for every different person and I'm fascinated by how different cultures and different people from different cultures interact. Now we all know how important first impressions are and that they last. So based on first impressions, Lerato, you pick first. Um, I'll take George. I'm fresh. Because my ideas are different. I'm different. I'm an individual. Means I into the way in front of a corner. The way in front of a corner suits me better. You know. I'm here to prove that women are behind the creative um, energy of design and um, I'm bringing the feminine sort of feistiness, fieriness and um, I'm just shooting ideas from my head on and I'm not stopping um, for anything. Karma. Is that, what I mean? Deny your opinion, I'm the cause of Tetela at the same time, the Aquas not design and the Aquas Boni. No, 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 coins are bandu, bars, uba, it designing and Tony, no bobby babu and Tony through it design. God, I'm from the Cape Flats, so everything is very urban y, street y sort of a thing. Most of my designs are inspired by that, about my surroundings. I like graffiti because um, of the, I don't know, the whole of expressing a message and the way they do express message and the point that graffiti is now in Cape Town and South Africa. It's like a whole new realm of graffiti. As a young, upcoming artist, I need to get all the exposure that I need to, you know, to get to the point that I want to get. I mean, nobody takes you seriously. Hey, look, she, if you go to tell me, you are a painter, you can you are drawing, you are graffiti. I mean, graffiti is a lot of art. I'm a mother of one, three-year-old, and I'm married. I'm a housewife. I'm a fashion designer. I'm a student. I'm, I'm, I'm everything, you know, and I'm trying to balance my life out, but I'm obsessed with doing more than one thing. My passion is in design, in fashion design, and I'm in this for recognition, for success, and somehow, obviously, for winning. I'm Michelle. I do photography, 
So I'm very outrageous. I'm an anti-conservative completely. Um, I like to do dangerous things, different things. Um, I don't want to conform to what's normal. I find that South Africa is so conservative and I just want to bring it out there and do something that's outrageous and dangerous and, and wild. Because I idealist. I, I conceptualize um, ideas. I got of them to evolve. Uh, in basis to rebrand as silks. Um, ek hou ervan om totaal die box uit te dink en bykie buiten kan die huidige frame of mind van mense te kom oor hulle so indimensioneel dink. Katek. I'm a very creative person, a very, very serious person. Um, I'm very fa I'm fascinated by a lot of things and I have lots of philosophies about life. I, find, I think that life is a very, very fluid um, system that we live in, so one cannot afford to be narrow-minded. I have my own label called Unruby by Odysseus, which I want to grow into a big brand. Big. I really love what I'm doing, but it took me a while to actually get here because from when I'm looking back where, where I come from, I started off as an engineer, doing engineering. And three years ago, I really came in contact with who I really was, and then some focus was actually brought into my life. Most importantly, it was more a spiritual decision that I, I, I needed to take, that I, I wasn't sure about. So that brought about like a way of me to know that, okay, this is who Peggy is, and this is what makes him tick. Um, Andile. Andy. I think that has made me one of stand firm decision okay right and in this area and also thinking of writing um, a five year old baby girl um, I'm a fashion designer I designed for the upmarket, sexy, sophisticated woman. And I lecture the fashion and lecture in patterns in garments at ICSA College. I'm just a black woman at, at the moment who's who's learning things and who's who's open to to other people's ideas. The way I see graphic design is that we we're not just people who draw and who like draw p pretty pictures. We're trying to like also say a message to people, and we have to to work with society. So if we're designing for society, we must be able to say something that has a positive impact on their lives. And at the same time, we must be able to be like, to be recognized. <laughs> I'm a fashion designer. And most importantly, I'm a mother too. And I've sacrificed a lot to come on the show. And my husband is as well because we've never ever left our kids alone with anyone for not even an hour, so he's take, taken unpaid leave. Design is like one of my passions, you know, I love decorating and designing and I just want my name to be a household name. I want to catapult my career, you know, into the fast lane. So guys, you've chosen your teams and now for your first task, which is an outdoor media task. We need you to design and create a billboard for the design in Zaba. The design in Zaba is not only the biggest design conference in the world, but is also an organization dedicated to developing design in South Africa. Over and above the main conference and expo, they have ongoing workshops right through the year. Your task is to capture the ethos and the essence of the design in Zaba. You need to get your hands dirty today. You are going to conceptualize it and you are going to have to paint and create it on a canvas that is put up on William Nickel Drive. I will see you on Wednesday at Style Council where the winning team will be excused and one person from the losing team will not make the cut. Good luck guys. Creating a billboard is not as easy as it seems. Only by combining the right elements will the billboard be successful. This is what the two teams are about to find out. A billboard without a message that leads the consumer is just a, a sign. It's very important that you need a big idea that gets a message across quickly and effectively. Number one, keep it simple. You only have a few seconds to communicate the message. Number two, be legible. Make sure the font size stands out. Nice, interesting copy and um, hard hitting copy, that's what you need. In case you fall off the billboard, we also teach you how to fall. <laughs> You'll have to... Okay. Now to get those ideas flowing. This shouldn't be too hard, as there are eight creative minds in each team. 
As a leader, um, I'm working on the system that um, everyone must take responsibility and everyone must contribute and everyone should be listened to. So even the people that don't feel they can conceptualize, I'm like, no, let's 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 just let's just put everything in and then we'll see what we take out. Just just go, just let loose. We'll, we'll confine later. It's still early. I was thinking having like a silhouette of a woman or whatever silhouettes and then you know at the back of her head have all these things coming out it looks like hair but you know have all these things come yeah all these thoughts coming out from the different design disciplines and so if that with the hair and like ideas and like shoe linking to a bag and whatever I, I would, I, I'm not I'm not saying shoe literally but I'm using references like shoes or bags or whatever because it's it's the fold that I'm in but it could be anything it could be in the maybe couch not, not or whatever words. just like maybe just like, it looks like images like little illustra illustrations because yeah. words yeah. you need and to focus just on so it's I won't say that I'm not a leader, but I'm, I, I'm not a dictator. Me, I'm, I'm into people flowing freely. There's this whole thing about putting your foot down and whatever. Creativity is a very sensitive thing sometimes. And, and it goes out very quickly. And if you just put your foot down, you just step on that flame and it takes a while for it to step. Even like with very confident people. Every year, designing, when Designing Daba comes, they come out with a theme. This year's one was basically this. This was the theme in that um, they're saying like creativity is a new way of generating income and pushing profit margins. So now what our task is now ne, is to come up with not another theme. We have to sum it up what they're trying to express yeah. every time. We are a multicultural country. Yeah. Yeah. No longer uh, Indian or white or whatever. Yeah. So now when we sell ourselves, so we, what, what we're trying to say to us is like we are the essence of fusion. Yeah. So maybe our concept can be what? Can, our concept can be fusion. Maybe our campaign can be fusion. Catch the diversity somehow. Capture the diversity in the billboard as a whole and make it stand out. Make that stand out more than anything. Design does function in that way where it's intertwined. So it's it's not just about fashion or a spoon um, yes, or a cup. Yeah, yeah, it's about yeah. everything it's working in unison. I was worried about colors. Like, you know, like, I was going to ask you, in fact, like, which colors do you really strongly feel that they like African? We must know that we're South African and not be scared to be South African because we mustn't be brown and oak and whatever. Those colors are actually the rainbow nation. That's what we're supposed to be because we like, you know, we're all different. Everyone does it. When they think yeah. South African, they think South African flag colors. Yeah. It's, it's done. It's done. Think, it's done. We, also, we, we have to move on, you know? Our group has been divided. There's some of us that believe that we shouldn't do the norm, you know, the conventional design that's happening. Um, but some of us still believe that we should still embrace the whole South African color thing continuously. And I think that we've got this chance on the show that we should, you know, do something that hasn't been done. You know, break away from the norm, break away from the conventional and do something that has been done. It's, it's sort of in a shape of that whole egg thing and then the sperm is actually like a funny, <laughs> like a funny shaped spoon coming like that. Design in Daba is that small sperm thing, right? And it's going to inject and it's going to fertilize South Africa. In the egg is South Africa and like the outside layer is here, it's like the, the nucleus is South Africa. You can yeah. see Cape Town, it's, it's coming that way. Yes! Yes! yes. yes. It's the corner of South Africa right here. Right here, it's going south. And the second idea that I have was um, the one of like a face where it could be like an introductory to a series of um, of billboards uh, of a face polarized with like ideas going out. And then there's this part where at Kimberley, where it goes up on the map. And then I was thinking of doing the Hillbro Towers in terms of communication with the people, you know. So do you love the tree idea? Yeah. Just because it's like, it represents all of us, every single one of us, and we're all like branching from the same tree, basically. At seven o'clock we're presenting. Um, everybody's ideas is coming out, individual ideas. Because um, Lona, we had an idea that um, Michelle and Kateko didn't really see. And I, I always work on a system that you don't know what another person is saying until 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 you actually um, look at the thing that they're talking about. research is quite vital because at least what before when you look at the next whatever you're doing. I get that it's saying different design disciplines. I see 
textile in those patterns. I see photography there. The one looks like a cityscape. The other one could symbolize a barcode. Oh, the silhouette's going to be black and have... No one's making decisions. People are not thinking of technical aspects. Ecologic in anything that, that's happening at the moment. And that could be to our detriment. Too much creativity sometimes can come back and bite you in the behind if it's not controlled. Who wants to do the hand? Just I love that. I know if the group is of benefit and I learn I don't go back to full shine. You know, if the group ain't gonna shine, then what's the point of shining alone? I'm okay with the concept. Yeah. But the execution. Nice execution. execution. But the execution is. That's yeah. what we're going to The concept is still yeah. good. Vusa's team has got their concept. Now it's time to come up with their final design. I love it. I love it, guys. That's why I said I can, I can explain Vusa's one. Oh my god. Yeah. I'm, I like it. At half past 11, my decision yeah. is final. Yeah. But until then, you can work on both and tell me what you got. And let's see if together you know if you got to position the position. I pretty much got in and took over. And that's how easy it was. I pretty much project managed this whole thing, but in consideration that I'm not the team leader, she is the team leader, and she must have the final say, but she's just not operating on that whole professional structure. It's, it's irritating. People are not making decisions. People must make decisions. It's like almost 12 o'clock, and we don't have a product. I've got a terrible headache. But day because I'm not doing Just too much sun. Maybe it is not really a headache. It's like I don't really want to think about concerts because it's not really my forte, but let me just like excuse myself somehow. But I know that tomorrow he will definitely put in a little bit more effort in executing the task when it comes to painting and things like that. As a leader, yes, I, I, I should put my foot down. But again, um, what I am trying to achieve as a leader okay, is to see those avenues before I put my foot down. We had two, two, two concepts that we both, what we all felt strongly about. And then we ended up doing the hand thing and it ended up not working out. I I'm, glad, I'm glad we did it there because I saw it didn't work out. We tried to we tried to save it as much, but I'm yeah. glad what this happened yeah. because shit, so <laughs> now we've got something. Yeah. Is this what we're doing yeah. tomorrow? Okay, so that's what we will do tomorrow then. Yeah. But don't expect me to do the whole yay change to tears. Are you not looking with this? No. I will work on it and we'll see how it goes. finished at 12, we went to bed. Some of us got up at 5 to work on it. It's like South Africa, but it's got a nice Nyana pattern thing. And then you got this little sperm thing. Which, and the sperm thing is the designing double thing, right? And at the moment, we're calling it conception at the moment. And conception, concept, I-O-N. Basically, design and what we felt was like the mother. Um, that, that's actually where it came from, was sort of the mother of all sort of creative concepts or creation uh, or creativity in the country. I just love how it's going to be hard-hitting, shocking, but also a bit like, ah, okay, I see how it's working. I enjoy hands-on stuff, um, the whole execution of things and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to today. The concept um, is design your indaba, and we've concentrated and we've um, we brought out the Africanness of it all. We've taken symbols from the different design disciplines. This pattern over there, it kind of represents textile design and fashion design at the same time. This also represents fashion design, and at the same time, the film over there is technology. It's film at the same time. It's still jewelry design because it looks like jewelry design. It's symbolic, and the hair, the hair represents Africa. You know, it's a map of Africa, but then at the same time, it represents the way of thinking. That's why we say design your indaba. It means that you can design whatever you want with all of these elements. Is your canvas to work with? So the two teams are ready to roll, or are they? I'm a very emotional person, and I brew a lot. And um, I think I've been brewing like this morning. It, it looks more of a pattern 
than just a leaf. Just what are you guys talking flavor. about? The pattern. Um, apparently, the whole thing looks like a leaf, and there's a problem. I think you need to ask everyone if everyone has a problem with it looking like a leaf. You draw and redraw something ten times, and then all of a sudden, it looks like a leaf. The nail. I don't know, we'll work on a common thing and we'll be all brainstorming and she will sit to one side and just think and talk, like chip in here and then, and then all of a sudden, ping, I got a spark. And then everybody has to jump towards the spark and she throws the whole thing out of proportion. Lerato's team too seems to have their fair share of problems, getting started being the most pressing. The team is divided into two, those who know how to use the computer and those who need to transfer the design onto the canvas. I'm worried there was a split initially from the start, which would like really to me show that there was not really much unification, but I'm doing my best to sort of like get everyone to be working together well, I had to sort of like call everyone together to, in order to explain how we can actually execute this thing. Because what I realized was there was a lot of talk of how we're going to execute, but there was not really a solution. And so I offered this solution, and it seems that's what we're going to put to use. Everyone is starting to plot the, bigger, the, the, the largest scale of the grid on the actual ball board, so we can actually start transferring the artwork onto... Onto, onto the billboard and we can start putting in the colour and everything. Basically what, what it is is that the sperm infiltrates South Africa. It is designed in Darwin and it's coming in with a force and it's spreading. And it does not have a rigid sort of format of how it is going to spread. And the stencil that they have is very rigid for me. And I think the problem is that Musa is the leader. And that's, he's actually a very good leader. It's just that it does not mean that he is the full stop. He's, he's, he's not the stamp of approval. From this point on, we are changing jack on this thing. Nothing sure, changes. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Whatever happens, if it looks like somebody's bum, it doesn't okay. matter. I think what I'm trying to say is, can it be less okay, rigid? No. Can it be okay, a little bit no. flowy, Born. a little bit more yeah. organic in form? Not and not like stamp. Okay, no. Listen, I said, I'm going, I'm going to do one, and we're going to stick to it. Yeah, if the problems really come, good. we agreed on this, and that was it. Yeah. We can't keep changing. We don't have time to keep changing and changing and changing. It Are you saying that we should more. change the shape no, of the lines? No, don't change the shape. Don't make them so thick in the middle. Make it like as if you don't like... You, you know, you could have just said that. Well, that's what I mean. You could have just said that, and then that was it. Just Finish make the class. spaces in. Then we can start adding on as missing to as point. Maybe I'm a little bit domineering. Maybe I'm a little too outspoken about ideas, but I've given everyone a fair chance and I've realized that there's a uh, lack of technical abilities. If it seems like I'm taking over, then I guess that's the case. Someone has to assume a position of directing everyone because at the moment our leader is not doing so. It actually, now I think it should be an outline, hey? Like an outline that is going Wait, over the other. I'm trying to get this, what's happening here? Can I, can I? It must be a circle. It doesn't have to be a circle. To get the lines like that, it's not going to oh, be proper. We haven't started painting because purely, when we came here, we were still busy on patterns. And what patterns we're going to do, and what style we're going to have it, and this and that. And now I want stuff like this. People's mad, they can't, I don't understand. They thought, I don't know how they can do that. Now we're struggling of computer-wise and that sort of stuff, and then people are too busy on the computers upstairs because they don't know how to do this, they don't know how to do that. No, 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 listen to me. Do you, haven't we agreed on this already? Yeah, but I said yes. what I'm saying is mine does not have a stencil. It goes in, the ink goes in its own Africa. I said let's stencil it, and then they start arguing about this. It's the whole argument thing, the friction between people and not agreeing, and you know whose designs get chosen? The person who speaks the loudest. We're experimenting for now because we thought it'll work the way we put it down last night, but clearly it doesn't. Because of space. space. So yeah, all you do is when you figure out that you don't have space, you try and make space. You don't cry about it. The billboard might have seemed big at first, but their wording doesn't fit into the allotted space. Their only option now is to move the words around until it fits. That. Or that. I think this one could work because it's clean. We've got more clean space. So this is bigger now. I like this one and that one. 
all right? We're well, running out of space. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. We, have to we, like can mix, we can make space, but... It's and good. the dot is orange, and the yo is orange. So it makes that connection. The dot is on the tip of Africa. It's supposed to be South Africa. And the yeah, South man. Africa. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, like, he's the weakest, probably, in Tina Sonke, like, as a group. We are all strong individuals. Mariana, I got pulled with me, like, outside, and some, like... Uh, I don't see his character. There's a, I think there's a bit of a, like a thing going on between George and the leader. There's a bit of like two bondy bondy kind of thing going on there. And as a leader, sometimes you can't afford to get attached to one person. You need to be as attached to everyone, as detached to everyone also. What happened last night yeah. with Odysseus' plan, his plan was like the barcode and stuff. We thought it was cool. But when we laid it out, soon we realized that, okay, maybe not. And we want ideas to work, obviously, but we can't be um, precious about um, ideas if they don't work technically and they don't fit into that, um, you know, the concept that we're trying to, or what we're trying to give out to the audience. Yeah, I would eliminate George Olerati if I had to choose between who must go. your backgrounds in there because you're running out of time here you're not going to have time to finish I suggest you do the big areas try and start filling in okay other team has brought some interesting information to light. Well, we've just celebrated our victorious sort of little uh, discovery of, the, uh, of our website. In the brief, the address was specified that it was um, designindawa.co.com and um, they have it as .co .za, which means that we are have, we have an advantage, so we're happy. We are hawkers like that, maybe we are kicking ass. <laughs> We, we, Look, all we need to do is just clean up, yeah. make sure that everything is okay, the things that need to be touched up, touched, touched up by marker or a little bit of paint, but not too much paint. You know what I mean? It's simple, you get it, done. It's been real, thank you very much. I have an announcement for you guys. You have exactly 52 minutes to get done. Four minutes. Mine is five minutes ahead. Florian! Mathematic! Eight, seven, six, Now we're about to put up our baby. Took us a day to make her, but she's a beauty. I know we're gonna win, guys. Maybe let's just take it home. Um, we did a great job. I'm very proud of my team. Basically. 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 The best team is gonna win. Done. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's a big <pill> boy. <laughs>
basic hat. Like we could have used a brighter color. Like. I mean, that is like just red. A more orangey color would have represented like an igniting spark and flame. And the conception, like the iron, the, like the iron part is in grey. It shouldn't have been in grey because it's like you immediately go to the iron part of the writing because it's darker. It should have been red. If you break it up, you expect the other one to kind of have yeah, something. Kind of have Especially if you break it up so boldly as well, because the grey is much stronger than the orange. I love ours. I just want that dress style for next season, actually. Just cut our hair and have a shave. I think their, their design is very obvious, you know. It's something that you'd expect, you know, to see, like, design. It's it's not, like, very hard-hitting like ours. It's a good slogan on it. But ours are better. Ours is much better. I like it much more. They've got two things going on in there. We should have, like, the line, the headline got nothing to do with the visual. The image and the, and the copy, they say two different things. I like it. I don't think I've got too much to say, but I like it. And they did get the website wrong. I'm sorry. That is not cool. As <laughs> a circle? Yeah, it's not a tozio tozere. It's dot com. It's a com. How did you just realize now? They just told us. So, doesn't mean they're right? The, we can get penalized for that. We can't get penalized for that. Because we, we didn't research it. Dot com, uh, dot co, dot za, we should have taken heed, um, uh, but we didn't. Um, but we'll see how it happens in the Style Council. My job was to coordinate, and I obviously didn't coordinate that. So I'll take responsibility, obviously. I mean, I was appointed, so I will see to it that um, it's answered for. Will the incorrect website address count against Lerado's team? Will George? or Lerado take the blame. The Style Council will decide their fate. Good evening, guys. How are you guys doing? Welcome to your first Style Council, a place that uh, you don't want to be because somebody is definitely going home tonight. Unfortunately, but it's the sad reality. Um, Lerato, how did you find the task? Um, it was a challenge, um, uh, but it was also very fun, um, given this opportunity. Um, as well, we, together, we, we had conflict, but when it was time for the execution, we, we really got together and made something of it. And Rose, how confident are you in your team's performance? I think we couldn't have done it better. Wow. I want a leader like that. Well, judging your fate this evening is your style council, and we have three permanent members of the style council. Nathan Reddy, he's been part of the industry since 1990, is the most decorated and highly awarded graphic designer on both local and international platforms. Philippe Mazibogo, he's a creative strategist and stylist and has been part of the industry for 15 years, working in all fields of design. Palisa Mokubong, she started out with Stone Cherry as a fashion designer. She now has her own label, Mansu, available at a leading retail outlet and this week, our guest expert is Zahira Asmal, and she's the brand manager of the design in Daba. So without wasting any more time, please tell us what you guys thought of the first team's efforts. Firstly, I want to thank everyone for working on this. It was such a short time, and you guys have done an amazing job. I was amazed to see them up there, um, so I'm proud of you. Um, I want to say, from the start, I got a clear sense that Team A, there was one team, there was one body. Number two, it had to be simple. It's a billboard, people are flying by in a flash. It had to be a simple idea. And I have to say that Team One got that right as well. I like the idea of conception, 
but exactly who were you guys advertising for? I think if you look at that billboard, there's four very strong logos in the bottom. Okay, and Design Darbo as a website is very small. So if you're going past that in like five seconds, you'd never know who you're actually advertising for. In fact, it looked like you were advertising for fireworks. We looked at where the billboard was placed and we looked at the type of people who were driving past and we sort of got into a thing that they, they're smart people. They don't need to be taught obvious things. Don't assume that everyone knows everything because actually they don't. You almost need to spoon feed people ideas and thoughts because they will not unveil your thinking. How are you uh, reinventing the sperm? Because we, we, with all that's going on around us today, how are we sending a new message within creative that says the sperm is not necessarily uh, a, a negative thing in terms of, of STDs and HIV, especially within this country? Because now we're, we're taking it out of that context of disease and everything like that. Now we're talking about creativity, like birth of something that is actually positive. I like the word conception. I think it's a great word captured the imagination, but the visual to me, just you needed to double click and decode it a little bit more. Now I'd like to know what you thought of the second team's effort. The copy didn't go with the visual, unfortunately, but I loved the, the concept that, from what it spawned. Um, and I loved the style that came out of individual um, aspects, but too complicated for a billboard. You said something about individualism. Um, that is exactly what we wanted to, to put across, which is why the your was in the brackets, because that, that picture represents individualism within design to become part of design. It was nice to know what, what it meant to you, and so people need to know what it would mean to them, and that's how the Design Double website had to leave them there. However, that website wouldn't leave them there because it's a .com and not a .co.za, uh, and that's very important and was part of the brief. It felt like the billboard was two different ads for me, and seeing that there was a line in, in, in there, I thought maybe, you know, is there significance to, to, to that? We divided the billboard in half so that you could look on one side and see the tab, and then on the other side and see the image. Uh, fundamentally, I think I'll go back to Zahira's point, you know, a, a billboard needs to communicate, and the communication was for you guys to actually drive people to the, to the, actually to the web. I don't think that billboard's gonna do that there. And fundamentally, that is the biggest faux pas on you guys' side. Zahira, could you tell us who the winning team is? The judges and I have discussed this at length, um, and we decided that Rusi's team is the winning team. Yes! And the reason for this is, um, firstly, they, they, they were closest to the brief. <laughs> And secondly, they got the correct website on the billboard, and that really, really matters. You are excused from the Style Council. I'm going to start with you, George. As someone who already works in advertising, you know the client's brief is very important. And what went wrong? I can't say that uh, we're going to do it this way. I'm going to be a dictator. I know what's best. You guys, you know, are going to come out. You know what I mean? They also felt that they had their, their, their point. They had to be taken So who out. was in charge of researching whether that website was a correct website? Did actually any of you go into any website and check if it was a correct yeah. website? I am the leader. And as the leader, I do take responsibility for not um, checking and, and making sure that that thing was taken care of. What I'd like to hear is from uh, Odyssey. What do you think of the whole process and where do you think the communication broke down? People wanted to own this task and make it too personal and something that one cannot afford to do when you're out there in the world. If you walk into a major corporation, you're given a task. It's not for you to bring in your individuality. It's for you to execute the task efficiently. Who do you think was the most destructive in the team? Um, you single out one person. I feel that George, at a certain level, was not taking any ideas, but was very quick to shut down ideas, but not putting anything forward. It was more like, we can't do that. That cannot be done. What happened with OD's idea? He had an idea. We then, we worked it out on a computer. We laid it out. And he, it didn't work out. And he took it to a personal level that we didn't do enough. I didn't do enough. To, to lay it out. 
I personally believe that um, if we won, people wouldn't be blaming, putting the blame on me. But they, 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 they were afraid to put to take responsibility for their tasks. I tried to contribute to, to take my part, to play my part, because I believe that I'm not the weakest in here. Because I tried to- Who do you to, think is the weakest? Honestly, yeah. I think Andil is the weakest. Why? I, I, I actually personally take the responsibility of lay, lay, laying down the image on the, on, on the actual billboard and make sure that it is perfectly executed on the billboard. And Sisle, right. what was your contribution within the whole group? My contribution, since I was in, in that much of part of the conceptualization when we started out with the, with the concept, um, so I was uh, more hands-on with the execution of the, of the concept that we had, like uh, putting it down on the billboard, making sure we see everything looks nice, we don't smudge anything on the, on the billboard. Yeah, taking care of the paint. Narata, from, from your leadership point of view, who you thought was the most disruptive in the group? As for the weakest link, I do, I do agree with um, George that Andile was, because he has a certain sense of procrastination. Um, even when he talks, the way he expresses himself, he will, he will take longer to get to the point, and you know, that, that, that will delay the process. Um, in terms of disruption, um, I, I felt that Odysseus a lot would, would always complain and say, no, what is it that we should do? What is it that we should do instead of somewhat being proactive? Wow. In terms of being proactive, on my, on my defense, how many ideas, I would like to pose a question to my team, how many ideas did I generate and put on forward on the table? I, I did separate it. I said weakest link, disruptive. Not what you what you contributed. Right. Yes, you have contributed a lot, but I'm yeah. saying How can during the process, no. during the process, you had a, disrupt, a and disruptive can I say nature. He mentioned that there should be like a face that's tilted and looks like an African map, and we took that immediately and we draw yes. like a face and we put the African map in it. We all came with a lot of suggestions. If we felt that oh, none of our suggestions were taken into consideration <coughs> and start throwing tantrums, yes. that's destruction right there. Yes. When I call your name, please step forward into the box in front of you. Berato. Kama. Michelle. Donald. You are safe tonight, and you may be excused. George, step forward. Please join him, Sisle. You two are not safe tonight. So, Odysseus, Andile, you can be excused. Uh, both of you have fought very hard to be here but uh, only one of you has to go through. And the four of us feel that this is a very cutthroat industry. You have to sell yourself from beginning to end. And if you cannot do that, you cannot survive within this industry. So, will it be George? Or will it be Sihle? Sihle, you did not make the cut. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. But if I could just step out of myself and look 
Kutsibe kwenzeka ntoni uh, in in the room where we had to set the song and conceptualize uh our mama ideas being a cost strong and jungle by and cut again nam the fagile effort a be I wouldn't say into a um you know just flowing to to my rhythm you know if I want to back and flow on a kakulu so oh well I saw the in Bulale Emoye in London. What is on dark? Yabo. Jabo bendi chuba mina benzo funda up, and I pay up into. Sasa on born and born and food zonga lugun kumbun 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 das. Baban ba kete mnuti nkoto ke because ba funa yoshanga nisi zinto zanga. Shindi zitole nam. Muti gashi 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 gashi. Nfuno pili la bugle industry. Next on the cut, the two teams get the opportunity of a lifetime to make a music video for African songstress Zama Jobe. I need to do that now. Oh, well, you can't do that now because I'm director. I'm leader. Okay. I am, I'm shooting, Joe. I'm just saying, right? The music video needs to be done. You appointed me as concentrate, director. Concentrate, Sakumbo. concentrate, concentrate. Who made her the boss of this whole production is what I want to know. But with creativity flowing, the roles get blurred. Well, the orange dress that we originally wanted doesn't fit, which I'm a little pissed off about because it's responsibility of the stylist now to find out sizes. And tensions run high. Cut! As South Africa's hottest young designer, the winner of the cut will win a one-year contract to work for leading lifestyle and fashion retailer, Woolworths. A preloaded Woolworths card with which to shop for the latest fashions and designer food. And to get around in style, the winner of the cut will receive a car for a year, courtesy of Woolworths.